hello and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I want to talk about the five cheapest places where you can rent property in Spain. Now normally I talk about buying, but if you are potentially a digital nomad that only wants to stay for a while in Spain, or perhaps you just want to try before you buy, you may prefer renting instead of buying. Now, the five places I'm going to talk about are very, very cheap. And the cheapest place is a place called Baeza. And Baeza it was founded by the Romans and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And is actually in the region of Andalusia. So you've got lovely weather here. And it's full of lovely streets and squares which showcase different periods of its history. But the most prevalent one is Renaissance. Now, the population is around 16,000 and there are lots of places to eat and drink here. And there are bus connections to Granada, Malaga and Madrid. And the nearest airport is Granada, about 132 kilometers away. Now, um, the first place I want to show you is, I think, exceptional value for money here. And it's very centrally located. So, it is a three-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment. And it's 100 square meters, and it's on the third floor with an elevator. So I think this is amazing value for money. But it's a little bit outdated. So let's have a look inside here. There's the living room, uh, a bedroom there. There's a nice balcony, bedroom again. There you have the vistas, a bedroom, another bedroom. So as I said, it's a three-bedroom property. So really, I think this is incredible value for money. There's the bedroom again. And there's the kitchen with a fridge and some more views. Bathroom, so not too modern, but not too bad either. Bathroom there. There's the living room area, so decent size too. And that's a place, uh, extra place where you can put the washing machine. Kitchen again. There's the actual entrance. There's another bath. I know it's not the best bathroom, but it's perfectly functional. There's the outside area. And again, there's the corridor, corridor, corridor again. There's the bathroom again. And there we are. So I think this is incredible value for money, especially if you're, you could be a family here wanting perhaps to relocate to a lovely area. Or perhaps you're somebody that wants to rent and bring on, along a lot of friends as well. Or perhaps share um, with some friends as a digital nomad. If you want something more modern and centrally located, there is um, another apartment I found here. I don't think this is uh, amazing value for money, but if you like something a lot more modern, this potentially could be for you. So this one is one bedroom, one bathroom, second floor with a lift. The advantage here, it does have a garage included. And as I said, it's got a nice terrace as well. And it's a lot more modern. And it's 370 euros, which is, is still very cheap, I have to say. Um, and there you are, that's the living area, kitchen, bathroom, there's the area around, living room, so very, very nice and modern living room, and again, nice kitchen, nice bedroom, so nice big bedroom, lovely modern bathroom, so a lot more modern than the other apartment, but um, there's a nice terrace, so I think that's a great terrace, and there's your parking space too, so this is a lot more modern, perhaps nicer, but you're not getting anywhere near as much as the other apartment. But again, this is centrally located and still very, very, very good value for money. Now, the second place I want to talk about, and obviously being the second cheapest place to rent property in Spain, is a place called uh, Linares. And it's actually about, oh, it's only 20 kilometers away from Baeza. So it's also in the region of Andalusia. And... Actually, this is a, a bigger size city. So we are talking uh, around 56,000. And obviously, it's got a lovely Mediterranean climate. The city also has a university campus and is connected by transport and rail. You can actually be in Madrid with a three-hour train journey as well. And there's also a hospital here. So that could be very useful. Hopefully, you won't need it. But a, an extra hospital is always nice. And to be quite honest, it's a nice enough city. Perhaps there's not as many attractions as in Baeza, but um, Baeza, Baeza is actually smaller and Linares is, a, is bigger. So potentially 
if you want a bigger city to be in, this could be for you. Now, this apartment here is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment, 75 square meters of useful space, and it's only 400 euros a month and is centrally located and is on the third floor with a lift. So, again, exceptional value for money. There's the living room. Actually, the floor is absolutely lovely. I love the floor here. Um, it's really, really nice, although there's no furniture in it. There's a lovely balcony. It's small, but um, the views around are nice. Um, there's the kitchen. So you've got an eating kitchen as well. And again, um, that's an area perhaps where you can put um, the washing machine. Um, there's a bedroom there, bedroom, bedroom. So it's two bedrooms. There's a nice bathroom. So huge, really quite a big bathroom, I have to say. Uh, another bedroom. Uh, another bathroom, so really, really nice big place um, if you want to, to rent here. S central, that's the um, staircase. Um, there's the elevator, so nice size elevator. And there's the building, so very nice building as well, I have to say. And I think this is really, really good value for money. Now, let's go a little bit further down. I think I've got another apartment that I saved here, in um, Linares. Let's go a bit down. I think I did anyway. Or, oh, yes, here we are. So, this is another apartment in uh, Linares, and this is really a nice big one here. So, if potentially you are a family that wants to rent, or you really want a big property, this is 100 square meters of useful space. It's three bedrooms, one bathroom, and on the second floor with an elevator. So, I think this is pretty good value for money. So let's have a look inside. There's a nice big living room there. Huge, actually, it's a huge, lovely, spacious living room, I have to say. So if you rent here, you're going to have ample space if you want to entertain as well. And that's a very big bedroom as well, I have to say. Lovely, huge bedroom. And there's a nice balcony too. And you're in actually the square as well. So I think this is actually, I'm pleased I saved this. Because it just gives you an idea of what you can get. And the kitchen is really big too. Really big kitchen. Uh, and it's, again, and that's another bedroom. As I said, it's got three bedrooms. So very, very useful if you're a, um, a family. A big, big bathroom too. Um, there we are. And a, a lift. And there's the um, entrance. So nice entrance too. There's the building. Love, nice enough building, I have to say. Um, and I, I think this is really... Um, very, very good value for money. Now, the third place I want to talk about is a place called um, Puerto Lano. And Puerto Lano, with a population of 47,000, is located in um, Castilla La Mancha region. And it's in central Spain, and it's, it's an important industrial center. And the main industries are petrochemicals, power generators, and also manufacturing of solar panels. And it's, it's, a, it's a nice enough place, and transport-wise, it's got, it lies on the high-speed train link from Madrid to Sevilla, so it's well-connected. And Puerto Lana does have a hospital, and the people here are known to be very, very friendly. And actually, what's also good about Puerto Lana, um, as I say, the people are, are very, very friendly here. There's quite a few um, gardens around. So it's quite a green place. So if you enjoy um, green spaces, um, it could be for you. And um, Granada is the nearest airport, about 170 kilometers away. But a more practical airport is Madrid, 200 kilometers away. It's better connected um, than Granada. But let's just show you these two um, lovely apartments. And the first one I'm going to show you is a two bedroom apartment here. So this is, um, again, all the places I've shown you are centrally located. And it's two bedrooms, one bathroom, huge, huge place, fourth floor with an elevator. And there's a parking space as well if needed. So and actually, it's an actually, it's got a garage. So let's have a look at it. So it is actually a, a penthouse. So look at that. Look at that amazing terrace. Fantastic terrace. Living room, huge living room, kitchen, bedroom. 
and, and the terrace with far-reaching views is a real winner here, I have to say. Living room again. Living room, kitchen, 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 kitchen again. And there's the bedroom. So as I said, it's two bedrooms. Really, I think very good value for money. And you can there's the bathroom. So a nice modern bathroom as well. And again, as I say, you're renting here for only 490 euros a month. So beautiful property, less than 500 euros a month. Now, if you want something cheaper, um, uh, I've got another apartment in Puerto Lando. In Puerto Lando um, here. So... This one is 95 square meters and it's on the second floor with a lift, three bedrooms. Um, it's actually got three bedrooms, two bathrooms. So if, if you're a bigger family or you want more people to stay with you, this could be more practical. Although it doesn't, it's not quite as nice as the previous apartment. But nevertheless, let's quickly go through the pictures. Uh, there's the living area. Uh, balcony, I think uh, bathroom, so nice enough bathroom um, or two bathrooms here, aircon air con as well and as I go through the pictures I just want to say what I liked in the other apartment was the actual balcony I think here it's not the apartment is not quite as nice but it's it can be actually, it's more practical, so it could be a good choice for you now, let's come back to the apartments again so, um I've got another apartment in um, Puerto Lando. I, I, I saved three here. So, and this is 500 euros a month. This is a very, very nice apartment. Very, very centrally located. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 108 square meters. First floor with a lift. Absolutely wonderful. So let's have a look at it. There's the um, bedroom, living room. So I love this one. Kitchen as well. Living room, living room. Um, and again, um, kitchen, eating kitchen, lovely kitchen there. Um, another bedroom. So this really, three bedrooms is really good if you're a family and want to um, stay here for a while. And bathrooms as well. So quite well divided. Now the fourth place I want to talk about is a place called Naron. And Naron um, also is very cheap. Uh, it's got a population of around 39,000. It's in the region of Galicia in the northwest um, part of Spain, close to the Atlantic Ocean. It does have a, it does rain a bit here, but um, if you like, if you don't like the weather too hot, this could be a place for you. And you have a lots of facilities. You've got a shopping mall, plenty of nightlife with places to eat and drink. There's a theater. There's a large uh, cinema complex, and the nearest airports are Coruña, a Coruña, and Santiago de Compostela. And there is actually a larger city um, nearby. I think it's called Ferrol, and it's only a, a few kilometers away. And you can find better facilities here with hospitals, etc. But I think Naron is worth looking at as well. And what I've got here um, is an apartment. I'll show you 80 square meters. Uh, 475 euros a month um, so let's have a look it's got two bedrooms two bathrooms and there we are there's the living room living room again and again and again so quite a few pictures of the living room. big big bedroom there um, so two and that's another good size bedroom so two very good sized bedrooms kitchen bathroom 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 again and again, uh, so I think this place was pretty good value for money, and it's got a garage included, um, 475 euros, again, under 500 euros, you cannot complain. And the last place I want to talk about um, is a place called Luthena, and Luthena has a population of around 42,000, and is in the region of, again, Andalusia. Luthena is rich in history, so a lovely mix of Baroque and Renaissance architecture. The Moors were here. There's plenty of bars, restaurants, a cinema theatre, and a great nightlife. Um, and if you need um, something extra, Cordoba, Malaga, um, Sevilla, and Granada are within easy reach. 
by public transport. So it's not really that isolated. And it is kind of a, a city in its own right. And I've gone for a nice, a really lovely, I've gone for the big one for the last place. Um, 140 square meters, three bedrooms, second floor with an elevator. And I just want to check the number of bathrooms. So yeah, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 140 square meters. Absolutely huge. It is the most expensive to rent, but it's still only 650 euros a month. So I'll quickly go through the photos here. Um, absolutely humongous place, um, as you can see. Um, nice living room. The views are good as well around. Um, you've got a terrace. Um, nice living area. Very, it's actually a very, very elegant place. Kitchen. Kitchen again. It's a bathroom. Kitchen. 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 Corridor. Bathroom. Bathroom. And again, the bedroom, so huge bedrooms here. You can really, um, a, you know, a huge family can come here to actually spend some time and rent inexpensively. In, in a city, I have to say, um, which has plenty going for it. Um, it's not bad, under, under 50,000, but still a lot to do here. Lovely bathroom, so much, there is so much... Um, of property here really amazing anyway that's it for today let me know your thoughts do you want me to do more on renting property abroad or are you really just wanting to buy abroad let me know your thoughts and i shall see you soon in the next video bye for today